today on Destination Polaris. I don't think you'll ever see another view like this. It's adventure right out your backyard. Sending! Woohoo! Destination Polaris starts right now. Destination Polaris is presented by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Welcome to Destination Polaris. This week, we're in Alaska. Alexa, not a bad view. And it's only gonna get better because we are surrounded by Denali National Park and we get to explore all the best trails in the area. Our ride command navigation points us in the direction of Healy, Alaska. Healy is located four hours north of Anchorage and two hours south of Fairbanks. Yeah, Healy's like right in the middle of the state. Kyle Davis operates Denali Toy Rentals. So these are all 2022 models. He's our guide for the rest of the week. Denali National Park's right out our, uh, our back door. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to ride in the National Park, but we're surrounded by the park on three sides. Almost everywhere you look, you're looking at the National Park. That plan works for me. And exactly why we've teamed up with Kyle, a few locals, and some newbies for a few days on the trail. Let's gear up and head out. You can see so much from here, you wanna show us? Sure, yeah. You know, we, uh, over here, you see the lake, Auto Lake, uh, that's where we started. That hillside right there, you can see the trail going straight up. We're gonna be going over there and be on top of that, that hill here pretty soon. And uh, if you fan over a little bit more, you can see the hillside overlooking the railroad tracks and, the, and uh, we'll be going over there as well. So from here, you can see pretty much all the rides we'll be doing this week? Correct, yep. Nice. Yep. This and is Kyle's kingdom. <laughs> Everything <laughs> the light yes, touches. Yes, yes. And then all these mountains here are the northern flank of the Alaska Range. So that's all in Denali National Park. That's okay, right? <laughs> yeah. It's all right. yeah, it's pretty cool here. All it's of okay. that backyard. So destination number one for us is gonna be the Alaskan Railroad. You guys ready? I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Be awesome. Epic destinations for sure. But any chance we're gonna see a moose? When you go out riding with us, uh, we take you to several different overlooks, down to a creek bed. You get to see wildlife. There's a lot of moose out on our trails. I'll definitely keep an eye out for some big antlers, but there's plenty more to see. First up is Owl Lake. Owl Lake area that we went to where the beaver dams are, that's one of my favorite spots. A quick tour of the lake brought us to another hidden gem. This old rustic log cabin. Knock, knock. It's busy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's warm in here. It's not windy in here. Yeah. It's not windy, but I don't know that I would spend the night here. Hey, look, if you were stuck in some bad weather, this wouldn't be so bad. I well, guess, yes. Right? We've kind of termed it the, the Hobbit House because it's low. Yeah. So. It's, it's and the door. It's got the moss on top. 
But yeah, it's been here a long time. Do you see a lot of stuff like this on the trails or is this rare? This is rare, yeah. I mean, this is rare in this area. Um, you'll see a lot of these kind of cabins out in hunting areas and stuff like that. People build them and leave them there for anybody to use. A funky little spot for sure, but I'm excited for what's next. <laughs> it's certainly a hot spot for a lot of the locals around here. All aboard! I'm chasing the train. I'm hitting the Alaska Railroad Trail. Stick around. We're jumping on board the Destination Polaris Express. The train! Destination Polaris is sponsored by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Rockford Fosgate, purpose-built audio. Waltons, everything but the meat. And by Casey's, here for good. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. We're in Healy, Alaska on our way to the Alaskan Railroad Overlook. I feel like we're all dressed for different stages of this week, right? You're just wearing a hoodie, I've got a hoodie and a jacket, <laughs> and Alexa here is dressed for winter, maybe starting tomorrow. Well, you can see who the Alaskan is, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll say that. I am not the Alaskan. I'm keeping my jacket on just in case. The Alaska Railroad is a big part of the local tourism. The Alaska Railroad is probably about 60% of the people that come to the Denali area come on the train. They either come from Fairbanks or Anchorage. We planned our day so we'd catch a view of the train on its way to Fairbanks. We'll take a trail that rides on the side of the cliff, looking down at the tracks in the river. Our timing is perfect. The train! Here it comes. It's a very scenic ride. A lot of people love traveling on the train. It goes from Seward all the way to Fairbanks. Most people do the Anchorage run to Talkeetna to Fairbanks and come through Denali. The train offers one adventure, but just standing on top of the hill offered another. We call it Windy Overlook because it can be windy, really windy up there. Kyle, you said it would be windy, but this is ridiculous. Wind was crazy, and it comes up over that valley there. And lean off the side and lean right into the wind. You spread your arms and you can just kind of fly. It feels like you feel weightless when you're when you're feeling that much wind hit your body. That's that fresh mountain air, you know, that's cold, crisp, that's what makes you feel alive. It's crazy to be up there. You can barely breathe. And with that those gusts that come through that area, it's just amazing to feel that. Before we get blown off the mountain, let's head down to the valley for something a little calmer. Well, Jared, the train views were amazing, but a little windy up top. Yeah, it was pretty gnarly up there. Fortunately, the wind has died down and the sun's come out. Yes, warming up and just in time because you know what I spotted up there, water. That's right, you love water and I love adventure and this screams a whole lot of fun. Let's hit it. Throw a kayak, find a lake, find a stream. Get out in the wilderness and do whatever you want. All right, all right, we made it to Otto Lake. You ready to get in the water? I'm ready. This adventure is just getting started. You're watching Destination Polaris.
Destination Polaris is sponsored by Polaris Adventures. Adventure everywhere. Aluma Trailers, ready to ride when you are. Blowfast, the ultimate portable fluid transfer system. And by Amsoil, run with us. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. Anchorage serves as the entry point for most visiting Alaska. From here, you can head south to fish the Kenai for salmon. or go north to Denali National Park in search of wildlife. If the weather's clear, the drive to Denali looks like this. Most of the visitors that come to our state come through Denali National Park on, at some point in their trip. The entrance to Denali National Park is just a half hour from Healy, where we've set up base camp for the week. Healy's the closest year-round town to Denali National Park. It's here because of the coal mine and the power plant. We dropped our bags at the Denali Lakeview Inn, the perfect spot for morning cups of coffee and a great view of Otto Lake. The Denali Lakeview Inn is right next to our rental location. And they have several rooms that just sit out and look over the lake. With Denali toy rentals right next door to the inn, everything just clicks. It's just out in the wilderness. That's the best part about our location. Five minutes out in the trails, you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't see anybody, and all you're doing is riding out in the wilderness of Alaska. Kyle's right, and today we're headed where only the locals go. Antenna Hill is a really amazing section of trail. It's not super accessible, which is why, you know, it's not super often that people go up there. It's certainly a hot spot for a lot of the locals around here. It's a special day for the crew because Chrissy and Ben are taking this ride for the very first time. Where are you guys out of? We're technically from Ohio, but we live down in Sarasota, Florida now. It's our first time in Alaska. On the way to Antenna Hill was the, the most scenic trail I have ever been on. As soon as we pop up to the top of the mountain, you can just see for 100 miles in every direction. And it was like that transition was awesome. Antenna Hill provides some of the best views in the area. I think one of the things that makes it so special, honestly, is the incredibly like sprawling view that you get of the entire Alaska range. Not only do you get to see a lot of the Healy Range, but you also get to see the portion that continues on a little bit further to the east. These two have no regrets about making the trip to the 49th state. It is a breathtaking state to see. and it's something you have to see in person at least once in your lifetime. I don't think you'll ever see another view like this. This has been a blast already. Yay, <laughs> we're just getting started. Yeah. You're right, Alexa. We're not done with our adventure just yet. 
coming up next, we trade the generals in for a different ride. Oh, I'm ready. I'm too high, that's for sure. <laughs> You're watching Destination Polaris. Bye. Sending. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Brave and Off Road. Live Brave. Rotocap, the ultimate UTV bed cover. Fly Racing, helmets and apparel by riders for riders. And by Canvas Works, custom, durable, soft sided enclosures for any trailer. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. Crystal clear days mean stunning views of Denali Mountain. One of the best is in the small town of Talkeetna. Talkeetna is just a few hours south of Healy, where we've spent the week with Denali Toy Rentals. We let people take them out in the trails in the wilderness of Alaska in the Denali region. Kyle's been our guide and welcomes visitors from all over the globe. <laughs> The people are just amazing that come to visit this state. They just love coming up here. But you need to come at the right time of year. Denali area is a summertime experience only, from about middle of May till middle of September. Summertime means lots of sun. But what we didn't expect to see was sand. We have the sand castle right behind us. It's a cool geoformation. You can't ride on the sand castle, but if you're looking for sand to play on, we found it. We've covered the mountains, overlooks, sand, streams, and creek beds. Is there anything else we're missing? I hear some hooting and hollering up there. Oh, What's yeah. the deal? <laughs> yeah, you know, we, our zip line course is right on the edge of Dry Creek here where we've been riding. So if you guys want to go zip lining, let me know. I'm ready to do some screaming. You? Yep. yep. I'm into it. It's a zip line course that's actually located right off Dry Creek here. It's a great course that's above the tree lines and seeing all the mountain ranges is very scenic. Hey ma'am, how's it going? I'm Alexa. Nice to meet you Alexa, I'm Atley. Atley, I'm Jared, nice to meet you. A little bit about our course today, you guys will be riding eight zip lines. Alexa, how's my hair right now? Is it good? <laughs> looks good, looks like, uh, it looks like you just did the zip know, line. I just did. <laughs> So not a fan. I'm too high, that's for sure. <laughs> there's, there's no measurement at this point in time. Get a little workout in. We are uh, going that way. Okay, sending. <laughs> Here we go. Woohoo! Well, as I understand it, this is the only one where you go at the same time so you can 
race? Yeah, we're to racing. Be. You think you can take me? Do I think I can take you? I think I can take you. I firmly believe she will win. Three, two, one. No! Dang it! Oh. I won. Lexa wins for the dismount because uh, mine is awful. <laughs> I stuck the landing. So if this was gymnastics, I think I'd get a 10. But I was slower. There's so much here that just, you know, you really can't fit into a frame that makes this place special. I just love the wilderness up here. You just feel like you're away from everybody. This was a phenomenal, you know, way to spend one of our days up here. There's nowhere like this on the planet. I love Alaska and I don't want to live anywhere else.